All right, I think that's a pretty good one. I don't need the kicker. That's very nice <laughs> uh, triggers. Enjoy. Do you block? <laughs> ah, greedy. We are at high HP, so we don't care. Enjoy. Now we try it. Even if we draw something. Hello everyone, it's Slav here and today we have something really special, trust me on this one, because I know you probably don't super like Timur, and I have to say I don't like Timur at all, <laughs> I don't play this color combination, but this deck absolutely blew me away, not only you have like 80% win rate in Mythic with this one, and the games were truly dominating. I think we had bad draws with this win percentage. It has a lot of really cool cards uh, that we'll go through. And I really feel that this is a full-blown control deck, which uh, after playing some Timur decks, nothing felt exactly like your typical control. This one really does. And Planewalker, you have not a lot of Planewalkers, only three of them. But believe me, in every game you will see how this Planewalker absolutely twisted the game. It kinda feels like playing around the old Teferi, you know? So I enjoyed this deck a lot and I don't generally enjoy Timur decks. So definitely, if you are a control player, consider this one. It has a lot of weird rares and before you craft anything. I think Arlene might not be needed. I went from three copies to one, and to be honest, in games I've tried, she never really contributed too much. So maybe you just want Fair Jaya, or you can even go Fair Memory Darush if you don't want to craft those. So, fair warning. And this deck has a lot of weird trials. You, you probably don't have Jaya, you probably don't have the Elder Dragon War, which is also a really important card in this one. But other other than those, you probably have those. So, you know, fair trade. So going back to the deck, why is it awesome? It feels normal when you look at the deck list, but when you actually start to play this deck, it has so much raw power and usually controls are very passive. You cannot really threat an enemy. You cannot kill him very fast. You have, you know, this defensive gameplay. With this one, I feel that you are very balanced between defensive, you can absolutely go full control mode. You have joint exploration, you can ramp, you can select your cards. You have silver scrutiny, you can draw a lot of cards. You have memory deluge, fable, and even the elder dragon war. For anyone that didn't meet this card, it's a four mana enchantment with the three ahead. First, you deal two damage to each creature and opponents, so all your creatures as well get the damage. A second one is basically augmented fable. Instead of two cards cycling, you get as many as you want, which can cycle your whole hand in some situations if you get flooded or whatever. And the third chapter gives you a 4-4 dragon with flying, which is amazing. If you can clear, it's amazing against fable token. Imagine your opponent plays a three mana fable and you were on the play, so you follow it up with four mana this. You kill the fable, you can cycle, basically rectify your whole hand and make a dragon for free in two turns. And you don't lose any tempo, you basically get a little bit of three cards in one. I think this is way more powerful than I expected. It feels a bit like a fable. Uh, it's too early to say about this, like definitely I need to play with it more, but it definitely has a huge potential and I'm seeing it more and more, and more in a lot of good decks. So something that we probably will have to consider at some point. So, uh, yeah, we have those cards uh, and Jaya. Jaya is absolute miracle in this deck. I'm so baffled ab about the power level of this card. Like, if you have even one in collection, try to use her in some decks and try to test her because every deck I'm playing with her, she's absolutely taking over the game every time she comes into your, you know, your hand. It's a four mana plane walker that is incredibly hard to kill, defends himself and still grows while making defenders. Because each one of those tokens can basically defend her every turn. So if your opponent has one creature and keeps attacking, she's growing for free. And in reality, you can absorb a lot of damage because he's t she's taking plus one. So if your opponent attacks for two, you just pass it through and you can take it for like three turns. It's absolutely amazing how much power she creates. And at some point you are left with her at two, three loyalty and an army of four tokens. And don't forget in instant decks like this, 
you can pump them as much as you want. Imagine you go joint exploration to joint exploration into lightning strike. Your tokens are 4-4. Four, four. You can, if you have, you know, some skillful play, let's say, you can make so many good plays. You can keep trading to those tokens for your opponent real creatures with cards. So each one of those tokens can trade for a card sooner or later. And it's absolutely busted. Like, I need to play more with Jaya. I'm I'm really surprised she's so strong. And you watch the videos and uh, think for yourself, because I think it's really visible how she dominates the battlefield. So that's why Arlene, uh, she didn't come into play. We have only one, one copy, but when I saw her, like I usually didn't really want to play her too much, but you know she's really good because she gives flash to your creatures, and even you don't have a lot of creatures, casting Titan at the end step is absolutely powerful, and especially that you get counters, you get like this, and you know each creature you control enters battlefield with a counter. I believe it works for the Jaya tokens as well. And the fact that you can create tokens at the night time, she's a very good finisher. And she also has a plus two that ramps you into Titan. So you can play this and on the next turn, if your opponent, for example, flips into night time, you play the land, you get the mana and you can cast the Titan uh, main phase uh, on turn five, basically. So those are really big plays. So I think she still is worth testing. But yeah, uh, Jaya is absolutely the powerhouse for this deck. All right, uh, sorry for the strong introduction on those interactions, but I, f I was really surprised about the power levels of those cards. And I think you might be as well. So definitely try it out. Uh, Fires of Victor, very nice card that I didn't test so far because it's Izzet and I wasn't really play playing Izzet. However, two, two mana damage that yeah, okay, two mana removal that deals around 6-7 damage early game. This kills Adeline very easily. You might see it in the games. Uh, this basically early game kills everything. And played game, it's perfect draw because it's a removal that can target Planewalkers. And it also cycles itself for not a lot of mana. Like, five is expensive, but it's acceptable. Uh, you know, late, late game you have this mana. You want to get extra card. So... Definitely a very strong removal, and even dealing two or three damage is usually enough. So you don't need a lot of cards to make it work. And with this deck, you can usually have a lot of cards. So, very good one. Lightning Strike does not need uh, an explanation. And I think that's the deck. Oh, burn down the house. If you think this is a defensive measure, oh boy, you have some surprises for the game. This is our win condition. And seriously, with this deck, you very often deal enough damage with like tokens. Uh, by the way, you don't really focus on aggression. You just attack when they are free and doing nothing. And suddenly your opponent is low enough that you can start casting burn down the house to just simply kill him. Even if he has blockers, he can block only one creature. You have three tokens here, three tokens here, and you make three tokens with next burn down the house. Suddenly your opponent gets hit by nine. If he kills the devils, he gets additional six damage, and he's basically dead whatever he does. Of course, be careful about casting this into Midhook Massacre, but you need to space them if you are playing against a deck that has Midhook Massacres. So, this is the deck. I definitely think this is the best control deck in Timur Colors I have played so far. And I absolutely enjoyed it. I think it's worth it. And I'm a Demir player, I don't play those colors. So give it a chance and you might be pleasantly surprised. So with that being said, if you like the channel, if you like the decks, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me, it helps to grow the channel. So if you want to support the channel, you think it's worth it. Uh, definitely do it and like and subscribe, comment, things like this really help. So thank you, you are the best and I really hope you, are, you will enjoy the games. Oh man, so this is basically I pray I get to 5 mana hand and that's a moon again. That's actually a horrible event. This one is much better. Uh, I like on Mulligan you have so little lands that you don't really ramp uh, with the joint exploration. All right, and we will be definitely uh, under pressure. You know what? Let's play play red. This is definitely bamboozling our opponent. 
So, uh, what is the game plan? Uh, we need to slow them down. We kill. We need to kill the hotshot mechanic next turn, or we simply die. <laughs> That's pretty easy choice. And man, it's so good we have this hand, uh, this card. Without this card, we would actually instantly lose. Uh, it's still not over. It might be other line, and it's already three damage into the face. Do you have other line? Oh, that's actually insanely good. Can I get removal? Oh, that hurts. All right, that's an important decision. It should be Fable, and we will probably cycle this and this. We need to hit our sweeper or we die. We have very little time. It's already six. Oh my God, really? Really? Oh man, that's so much damage. It's casual nine damage out of nowhere. Sure, I will gladly eat it. That's a sweeper. All we need to do is hit a land and we won the game. <laughs> oh man, Fable, you are actually my hero for today. I think this might be theoretically important. Fable definitely not something good, yeah? Please, land. I deserved it. I was a good person. Kinda. Alright, first you attack. So they need to make decisions without any information. Ah, nice. Free damage, no lifelink. All right, uh, let's not mess it up. And let's burn down the house. Oh, it feels really good, doesn't it? Enjoy your one card. We are at seven, it's actually not so bad. And yeah, I'm happy I uh, used the silver scrutiny. Talia, okay, annoying, but definitely not the worst. Uh, let's take bets. Do you think they will scoop when they see the Planewalker that creates one creature every single turn? Really? Oh man, I really don't have second threat. <laughs> Enjoy. We can keep blocking every single turn until the end of the time and that's a good game. Man, how quickly, quickly it turned. Sure. Uh, we could kill it. And we will. I don't care about Kiki Jiki. It's just a creature. Uh, this is what wins us the game, and this is what wins us the game. And suddenly, our opponent has exactly nothing, and thanks to killing Talia, we draw extra card. Uh, so let's go for casual four. Oh man, he will scoop. He will so scoop very quickly. <laughs> I think he's waiting for his next draw, and if it's not a good card, he will scoop. Oh, uh, I played the land. Yeah, Highland was the one. Wow, this is how you top deck, guys. That's the first non-aggro card he drew this game. You really have to love those top decks. I'm definitely not annoyed. All right, so we still have the Titan, so we will win. But the fact that he just drew it from the top after getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, stir of my life. So uh, whenever creature attack uh, deals damage, no. We can go ab above the dragon. Do we attack? I think he will be scared to block, but you know, you never know with those players. Let's just make the titan. How much do I get damage? I should probably count before, but I don't super care. And that's a shield counter on the titan. So whatever their amazing top deck will be, like Valorous stance or whatever, they cannot do really much. So they will attack, get the tokens, and then we will smog them, and they will die. Man, uh, like we are absolutely winning anyway, but the fact that he got this and he still has some chance... Okay, it's probably like 3% to win, but you know, <laughs> not something he should have drawn. Alright, alright slot, let's not run again in next video so uh, what we will do joint exploration is actually extremely important here and don't forget we can draw with jaya and minus eight is very close so you know but it has to be the red instant or sorcerer speed make this appear sure well wow, that that took a while <laughs> all right we can nearly kill him right uh, I will go for the aggro side. Uh, white decks cannot compete with your tokens because they have no like card advantage sweepers. So you can just go one for one forever. All right, I think that's a pretty good one. I don't need the kicker. That's very nice <laughs> uh, triggers. 
and now we'll make sure that our opponent has to choose. How sure you are we don't have the thing? And he also needs the Elder Dragon War or whatever. Enjoy? Do you block? <laughs> ah, greedy. Greedy and good top decks. Uh, we... Yeah, we have to paint, but we are at high HP, so we don't care. Enjoy. No, we try it. Even if we draw something, uh, it's even better. All right, two cards. Yeah, man, not sure why he's in the game. He he really had no chance after Jaya entered the battle. And we got the number. Oh my God, back into the numbers. Best deck ever. All right, opponent goes first. So... It's not great, but we have joint exploration. The problem is that we ramp into five mana and not the four, so, you know, it helps, but we definitely need something more. And let, like a real control player, let's think for five minutes about playing the first one. <laughs> all right, all right, jokes aside. Let's, well, we are getting flooded, so let's go with Shivan Reef. Uh, because there's actually a high chance we might uh, channel this one. If we keep drawing like two more lands, uh, we definitely want to channel. We don't have anything above seven. That hurts. That hurts. However, we can deal quite a lot of damage and this is worth it. Man, this is actually a sick card. I like it. Two mana deals six damage. Uh, <laughs> nothing too, shab too shabby. I, sh I wanted to say nothing to scoff at, but you know, words very hard. Alright, and we are actually playing against Esper. Man, I've seen some control versions of Esper that actually use this disgusting creature. And I think they might have counter spells. I think it's, it might be an actual control deck using Adeline as a finisher. No more runs, bro. It's, enough. it's definitely enough for me. Man, <laughs> ramp is actually so nice. Okay, en enough with the ramp. It's 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 fine. We could go with this at then step and start pressuring him. It's not the worst. This is the emperor, isn't it? I'm playing Jaya simply because I fear this is emperor. And if they cast emperor and we do nothing, we are absolutely behind. And if they counter it, it means that Emperor cannot be cast. And there's high chance this is what happened. And suddenly with Jaya in the board, Emperor is not as scary as, as she is normally. Especially that we can pump it to 3-3, so it can trade with Samurais if we really want. We also have those creatures that can overwhelm. This is not important. If you can trade basically a plus one into one of the cards, you are, you are getting really ahead. It seems that he doesn't have Emperor, which is amazing. Hey, what do I think about this card? Well, I definitely think I would love this card one turn earlier. Man, I have no idea why it's always Ayo against six loyalty Jaya every game. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright. Yeah, we have to play this one. We can play the land. It means that we have Make Disappear and that's huge. Oh man, and we start to build a board and he cannot answer it. We are getting into win situation, I think, slowly. Read that. We just want a cool dragon. Are you cool? I have seen cooler. Sorry, dragon. Like, you are not the worst, but... Yeah, at least you have nice flames, you know? Destroy evil. That sucks. We might force him to tap out like completely. Hmm, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really good card. Especially in this turn. Do we make him tap out? Then we have no board. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, this was not great. And that's why we didn't counter. Yeah, he has only one. Perfect. Cool. So the last problem is Ayo. No Justin Timberlake reference. Not at all. Alright. How do we do this? We can try to scare him, but I don't think it will work. 
I think we start with this and see what we get. This is actually really important. And that changes quite a lot. We don't have five, no. So we cannot take second one. We won't have enough time to play it. Otherwise, we could just flood him with tokens. But in this situation, we need to draw cards, probably. We can trade with this dragon if he blocks. But we lose a lot of value and I'm not sure if it's worth it. I definitely want a dude. Why is my dude 2-2? Two two? Okay, it got a uh, trigger. Oh man, I have absolutely no idea how to play this one out. I don't think trading for Ayo, what they have in the deck, I don't think trading is good. Maybe we... oh man, maybe it is. We have zero value after this, but he also doesn't, and we get to scry. He might also not take the bait. Very smart. Zit, I don't like you. Why you play good? It, it completely crossed my plans. <laughs> I hoped you will play very bad. I should play it before the damage. I suck. Hmm. Not sure if that helps us. But at least, Jaya, man, Jaya is absolutely defining in every match she, she goes through. Alright. What are the creatures? Raffin, Adeline. Like, we can double sweep. You know? We can actually double sweep, and that's huge. And this, yeah, we can cast Joint Exploration. Smirk. He didn't block before. And he doesn't block right now, which is amazing. And no kicker, we don't have enough mana. We try to sneak a little bit more damage. You know, if we hit right cards, we can actually try to kill him. <laughs> oh man, can we kill him? This will be six damage, he's at 10, at seven. That's so much. I will take the lightning strike. But I don't think we go for the burn. I think we need to go for the sweep. And we will discard this if he uses Junji in this mode. Or we could just make devils and make devils. Uh, he cannot kill us. And he needs them to die to have any value. So he will go for block. He will block those. And we will attack with six devils. And then... Yeah, I think it's good enough. I think we kill him in two turns. Uh, and this is actually not a mistake. This is sorcery speed, so he would see that it's worth blocking and we would be tapped out. Yeah, vigilance, I guess. But it means that he doesn't kill us next turn and we can start trading with the tokens. Enjoy. We could also kill the dragons, but we, we need to remember about the land thing. Smirk. So he will block those two. Six damage goes through and next turn he dies. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. All right. It's actually good for us that they don't die because they only get value when they die. Smirk. Enjoy. You're dead, bro. Devils, you thought it's a sweeper. You thought this card is a sweeper? No, it's a win condition. <laughs> no need to kill those dragons, we can just kill your, our opponent. Easier. Alright, we are going first. Uh, our hand not very good, but we are on the play and that's what matters. On the draw I think I would mulligan this one. Let's go with the mountain, let's pretend, you know, the I play creatures player. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so mean to the aggro players. If you are aggro player watching, I, I still love you. It's just a joke. Alright, so what is the game plan? Uh, okay, game plan just changed. Uh, this is really what we needed. That is a very lucky draw. So, uh, my previous game plan was that I play lands and I draw cards with one of those and then I see what I draw. Uh, right now our game plan is absolutely shifted thanks to this perfect top deck because now we are secured from whatever our opponent has and next turn it will be even better and 
Let's play the non pain land. And right now, our opponent knows. But it's different than he thought. We actually have green. I'm not sure what this was. I think it was Inferno Grasp, to be honest. But not sure what he expected. That's a weird deck. He should really do something by now. And if he doesn't, he starts to fall really behind. He has no blue mana. He cannot really go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with us. Oh, it's not even Emperor. I wouldn't play the Memory de Rouge to not tap out for the Emperor. And he actually tapped out. So now we can do... This is the best possible play for us. And do I pain? Of course. Oh, the pain in this deck is painful. And that's a great pun. Uh, how much lands do we need? I think we take one. Especially the one that does not hurt. We can play the Fable next turn, guys. That's a big deal. Like, it's not perfect card, you know, in a way. But in a way, it is a perfect card. Uh, how do we tap? Because we can still keep up the Make Disappear, and that's a big deal. I think this will be Inferno Grasp, so we don't get the token. But we put enough pressure for the future, and that's what counts. And also, he still needs to use the Inferno Grasp, so Titan will be better. Oh, destroy Evil. We still get the token. Sure. Like, it's pretty okay, but that's the problem of Faber. Look, a card. For free. <laughs> Alright, so... Still not exactly sure what the deck is about. I think he has like four of those. Uh, that's usually the deck list I'm seeing in like, you know, more of a tournament setting because everyone is playing Shrouded or Enchantments. And I feel that our opponent really starts to fall behind here. He doesn't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he double trades for this. I actually think it's a good deal for him. And this might be a Paragon deck, if he really wants to get rid... Look, next turn he plays Paragon and he can replay the the, the thing from the Graveyard. And he might have another Destroy Evil. And that's kind of fine. And I know, we could cast something like Titan. Maybe I should. I'm just a slow burner on those decks. Like, I want to go for the value game. And I've, I'm pretty sure they might have a lot of removal. It depends if they drew it, but this deck generally should have rem Look, he has no creatures, he has no place. He, he needs to have something in the end. And right now we are actually starting to get a very good advantage. We need the seventh land. Man, those are really good cards. Even burn down the house is pretty decent, especially if you have a lot of mana. It might be scary for our opponent. I actually like all of those cards. I don't want to waste a single one. I guess we could cycle one lands because we have treasures, but I still think they are really important. I wonder what he has. I really am not sure what I play against still. All I've seen is some dogs. I, I think it's a Sarah Paragon deck. Problem for him is that he needs to start doing something or he falls way too behind. I mean, way too behind. We will cast Burn Down the House next turn. Right now it will be probably Memory the Rouge. But we will see what he plays. Uh, this is probably an Emperor deck. Like, you know, I know because they play white. <laughs> That's basically it. Maybe we should play Emperor. We have treasures and they do white mana, so that's probably enough. I don't think Kicker is needed. Lightning strike, strike is decent. Do we go for Burn Down the House? We can start killing them like this. Yeah, I, I think... Man, our opponent must be like, what the hell is going on? This guy literally takes all the cards from the top. Like a freaking dummy. He doesn't know he can select those cards. So... Let's make the correct one. Uh, that went through really fast. I have no idea what this deck is, but so far it did literally nothing and he's very close to... Like, he's dying very quickly. And we can force him to pay 4 mana, so he can only make a 4 drop next turn. And we will make this one uh, next turn, probably. Like, even the devil triggers will be already 6 damage. Uh, so, cruelty. 
he can discard the titan so i think for this reason it's worth the casualty man we are absolutely destroying this guy oh and we get the trigger the most important part the painful one do you think he will pay i sometimes pay i'm usually so triggered that the point of make disappear casualty that i actually click things randomly <sighs> so my turn do we burn him what is the burn status we deal five, four, six, nine, and he will be dead. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> what the hell was this game? Like, man, what's your deck about? I have literally no idea, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The most ridiculous win I have ever played with Magic. Like, how did I win? What is your deck doing? What's going on? Why there's no cards in the graveyard? What are those cards? Oh, that's a... Uh... Okay, uh, let's clear some things up. Bro, you are dying, okay? <laughs> I hope you realize it. But he ca if, if he killed the devils, it would be minus six. I have no idea. Like, I guess he drew only lands, I guess, so... Man, this deck is a freaking beast. Uh, let's go for the thingy. Of course, we start with this one. Uh, we don't really need green for now, so that's completely fine. As long as you have Fable, you are probably a happy person. I usually, you know, don't super try hard, as you know, but this stop is actually important. Let's get uh, some Make Disappears from opponent's hand. I'm pretty sure this is a counter spell. This is full Esper, and they have exactly two mana. Third, yeah, easy, right? Mana is it? This is is it? Oh, that's an animation that I didn't see. Kaito is extremely painful. You know, I, I just want to point it out. However, man, this deck is absolute bonkers. So we kill this thing for free. Uh, chapter 1, we get to cycle all the cards, we get to deal some damage, and we are getting a freaking dragon at some point. And Kaito is okay, but as long as it doesn't draw cards, and it's card neutral, I have noticed that, you know, you can still win games. <laughs> However, when it starts drawing, you probably don't win those games. Alright, we won the land. Oh, that's a hard choice. I think Fable has to go. Man, any numbers of cards is just like uh, Fable on steroids, basically. I want my land, I don't want to risk it. Oh, Memory of the Lush. Can we fight with this? Burn down the house. How much time we have until they have five loyalty? Quite a lot. Jaya. She's pretty good. Like, we can start making tokens and that's a lot of pressure. I think that's it. Man, Titan? I will go for one Titan. It might be a big mistake. Oh my god. The punish is freaking real. Alright, that, that was lame. But that was my decision and I, I stand by it. The point is that he has only two damage and we can basically heal her. Okay, okay, cool, Jai. Uh, and he can attack for two. So we basically lose one loyalty every turn, and that's not a lot. He needs to kill her manually, and that's always a big problem. And the fact that we can start killing his planewalkers with the tokens is absolutely huge. You know, it's not something that we'll use right away, but we can start doing it. I'm pretty sure it will also, uh, you know, for some... Oh, that's, that's scary. All right, that's actually a very big decision. And he went for the full value, so this will be a super friends deck. I actually thought it's more of a control deck than, you know, plain walkers. Okay, and we draw four lands. Oh my God, that's so lame. I, I, I didn't think for all my draws will be lands, but that's what I get. Uh, maybe it was bad decision in retrospect. All right, we can definitely pump pump it up I want something cheap so oh that's a good one man I want all those three cards fires of victory can it target 
target creature planewalker. We can kill both planewalkers right now. This is huge, uh, especially with Urza. So I think we have to take it. I think this has to go. It's pretty sad. Very, very sad. Because this also runs our bro. Or should I say the token? Uh, I should read the card probably, right? If this uh, deals damage to target creature, number cards of hand in hand. Cool. Let's kill sorry. Now we kill Kaito. We could ramp the token with prowess, but it doesn't make any difference, so we don't need to. Suddenly, we are the planewalker guy, and you can see that those uh, tokens, monks. Uh, starts to be an actual power in the game and dragon is also nice like he won't have plane walkers at chapter 3 uh, meat hook usually they don't bluff usually if they do it it's probably something they have in the hand he can meet hook for three so i want to make sure that he needs to have untapped land because this one is tapped and they can meet hook for three. This means this does not die if they have meat hook. And there's high chance they could miss the, the next land. Like they had this one, so you know. It is something you need to incorporate into your decisions. Of course, this is a bit annoying, and I guess he will have the thing. It's Esper. They have counter spells. They have a lot of stuff. Huh. Right, I'm not sure how to play this. <sighs> I'm not sure how to play this. He has a token, so he can make this appear. Do we minus one? I don't think we do. I think we plus one because he cannot kill her. Let's make some devils. And it also makes those stronger and does a lot of damage. Oh, it went through. I did not expect it. Maybe Emperor? Alright, alright, so if that's an Emperor, I still will attack with this. They are nearly the same. So Emperor, what will she do? Maybe take damage, make a token, minus to this one, and then token attacks Jaya. So I will take one damage, it's 8, 10. I think it's okay. I think this is good enough. I think this is good enough. Okay, so maybe it wasn't Emperor, but it's perfect for this turn. Look, he will get additional chapter from him, from this, if he plays her. So I still think it's an Emperor. I might be wrong, but I think it's Emperor. So we need to make sure that the board is irritating. Okay, I was wrong, it's not an Emperor. Like, I'm not sure what will happen, but it looks pretty good for us, doesn't it? Look how extremely hard to deal with is Jaya. She just made the full game in our favor after we whiffed on four lands in a row. And suddenly we have full board of those tokens that can be as huge as we as we need. That's fine. That's that's okay. That's okay because we are left with Planewalker and we have initiative. Okay, that's a good play from his side. We can cast the Titan and that's pretty huge. I'm not sure what we will do with it. But we will definitely do something with it. Our opponent is tapped out. A uh, cut down. He has a cut down. Or march. Or white march. One of the two. Pro maybe white march. Alright, so we definitely make this and we make a, a shield counter. This is super hard to exile with March, so let's make sure this is annoying. Like all of our decks are, basically. Alright, we don't have cards. See? Told you. But honestly, I, I was thinking more it's March. Because it really ta targets nicely the zero mana tokens, and he had exactly one mana. Look, Jaya is still here. Uh, Kaito is a huge problem, though. Drawing cards hurts. Avoid rent. Alright, shield counter. Pretty good. Le oh my god! Uh, we got wrecked. This draw. 
I think he drew it very recently, to be honest, but you know what, that's fair. That's fair. Now I'm not sure how to play this one out. I actually want to discard it. So I think... I think if we don't kill Liliana, we force him to discard his own hand or own card, and that's good for us. We could also exile cards. We lose Jaya, but we might draw something good. We could also kill the ninja. This way he cannot draw cards. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'm leaning towards killing ninja because we are in top deck war. And Liliana does not hurt us as much because we have tokens. This is something he might even consider countering. Alright, no cards. That's good. But we definitely need to... Also, we can start stacking some cards, thanks to Jaya. Because she's always attacked, we cannot use minus one as much as we want. That's a good one. So let's see, well, let's see. I would go for the full value, and he also does it. So far, he's playing really well. That's not great for us. I, I think he's making very good decisions. And that's scary. Oh, there she is. But not this turn. Yeah, and I baited. Oh, yes, we just killed Kaito for free. <laughs> we turned this land into a void rent. Oh, you, you bastard. Well, someone could say that's a good top deck. You know what? I think it's pure skill on my side. <laughs> you know, drawing the highest drop in your deck randomly. Generally a good play. <laughs> that was that was actually super lucky. It also answers the Urza assembles the Titan. However, can we kill him? No, we definitely attack Liliana because this minus one uh, means that we get additional creature next turn, so it's basically more damage to the face if we attack her this turn. I'm, I think we will still lose, to be honest. We need extremely good top deck from the top. No, don't be this guy. Man, you are playing so well. You, it was so friendly, and you are, you are doing this stuff. Like, I don't really care, it's just lame. Oh, that's not great. Let's trade it for free card from opponent's side. And this is why when your opponent knows you have Liliana, see, they always do it. We are basically discarding their cards with our Liliana. I guess land wasn't great, but we discarded Kaito earlier. And you know what hurts the most this kind of player? When we lose, we will say good game and he will feel like a douche. <laughs> Oh, oh, that'd be this guy. Like, he really played it well. I have to give it to him. Oh man, can we do something? Like, this is okay. Probably we won't get much better than this. Well, I guess he, he's at 9, but with Sorin he will ramp up faster than we can deal the, the 9 damage. 9 damage uh, with Emperor in hand is actually extremely mad. So I think I will take one more draw, and if I don't top deck something can say... Like, we cannot compete with so many uh, playing walkers. And the fair will start healing him, and he still has the Emperor. So we will draw a card, we will cycle it, and we will concede. That's the future. Oh, uh, that was a hard game. I think uh, those four lands absolutely destroyed us. This was the part of the game when we suddenly absolutely lacked value. And it, it continues. It definitely continues. And the improved Fable. Like... Deal one damage? That's cool. Like, I guess we cycle quite a lot. Uh, I have no idea. It does not matter. Let's just see the card. Bro, come on. Just, just show me the card. I feel bad for your oh, now you will feel like a douche. <laughs> okay, okay. Peace, man. You are, you are cool. In the end, uh, we are bros.